Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video uh, this morning before I head down to the range. I thought I'd show you my SIG P238, my SIG Scorpion uh, 1911's little baby brother. Um, sweet little gun. Uh, seven rounds mag here. You get uh, two mags with it. A seven round and a six round. Um, nice, really nice little gun. Uh, as you can tell by my gun mat, I like the car uh, guns too. Um, I actually ended up trading my P380 car, uh, nice shooter. Um, long reset on the travel on the trigger. I didn't like the reset on it. I uh, really liked the gun, but I uh, didn't like the reset on it. Um, so I saw this one in the local gun shop. Thought, uh, hey, I thought it was good looking little pistols. And then I. <clears throat> saw the uh, Scorpion and uh, match my uh, other SIG that I have but it comes with the standard case uh, you get with SIG gear polymer holster lock lube uh, typical uh, paperwork and registration uh, warranty card stuff like that uh, nice little cases they come in um, I'm trying out the Uncle Mike's in the waistband and a cheap uh, Walmart version of just a, in the pocket. Uh, both are pretty concealable, uh, easy to use. You can use them in your pocket, tuck them in your waistband. Um, they stay. They. I've actually been surprised. They stay put pretty well. Um, one of the features that I really liked on this gun was the uh, the safety. You can actually slide the slide with the safety engaged. Uh, pretty nice little feature that I've never seen on this style of gun. Um, uh, the barrel and the feed ramp are all one piece. Uh, very similar to a Springfield Armory XD. Um, it's had no failures to feed, no malfunctions of any kind, and I like it that way. Uh, very reliable, uh, very trustworthy, and that's what you want from a concealed carry gun. Uh, something that you can count on and know it's there when you need it. Uh, um, another little thing that I would, uh, I was wanting something, I kept putting my spare bags in my back pocket, and, uh, after a while, if you wear something after a while, and you've probably seen these old, uh, rednecks and cowboys and stuff like that, they got an old skull ring in their back pocket, well, uh, your wallet will do it, uh, we call it printing in the gun world, but, uh, I didn't want to print, uh, I didn't want people to eventually see the outline of my magazine or magazines so uh, I was thinking uh, do I want to buy a mag pouch uh, do I want to spend the money and find a, a good mag pouch you might buy several before you decide on the one that you like um, and I saw an old flip phone case I had um, the other day when I broke out one of my gun bags and I'm like hey this could work and I've been trying it out, uh, just kind of converted it from a flip phone uh, holster pouch to a mag pouch. I've got two mags in there, Velcro closure, uh, metal clip, uh, you run your, run your uh, belt through there on the waistband. Uh, so far so good, it's, it's holding up pretty good, it's kind of small, it's uh, not very noticeable. People probably think you just got an old flip phone with you. I did find another one I had in a drawer. Uh, looks a little wider. You probably get three mags in it. Um, you know, make something versatile, uh, multi-purpose, or mul uh, reuse it. Uh, uh, don't see really any reason to buy something when you can kind of convert something and try it and see if it works for you before you go and spend some money on something that you end up not liking. So uh, try them out. Uh, that's that's kind of the whole thing. Um, Find somebody that if, uh, that may have a gun that's like, that you like, that you can get to shoot. A lot of people have a hard time. Uh, some ranges rent guns. Uh, you can get to try them. Um, I've never been fortunate enough to be able to do that. Um, the ranges here where I live, they don't have rentals. Uh, I think there may be one uh, not too far from me that has gun rentals. But um, very happy, very pleased with my purchase. Uh, I had it... Uh, I guess about a month or so now, and uh, not a, uh, I thought there would be a little bit of difference, uh, noticeable difference in weight, uh, 
so far and that doesn't even bother me not, not really noticeable um, the metal frame versus the polymer frame of the car um, and I like the extra capacity I'm getting with the extended bags um, and the reliability uh, but uh, so far very pleased and um, hopefully we never have to use these concealed carry guns um, but if we do um, you want something that's reliable that you can you know put your life uh, your life uh, is in your own hands <clears throat> excuse me and uh, it's uh, got the sick reputation of quality firearm, um, very neat and uh, sweet shooting little gun. Uh, I'm gonna get it, get some more rounds through it today. Uh, head down the range. Well, it's uh, sprinkling a little bit this morning and a little overcast. Nice, cool weather, but uh, overall, I mean, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice day. And uh, we will see you at the range.